Hi, my name is Sheba Nadarzad. I am a graduate student currently at the University of Southern California studying for my master's in spatial data science. I filmed with Crimson three years ago uh, as an undergrad sophomore studying applied mathematics and I graduated this past May 2022 and currently studying for my master's right now. So as an applied math undergrad, I had a lot of room to take electives. I took an applied analytics course, um, or more so intro to data analytics course, where I kind of learned a lot about data analytics and kind of an introduction to data science. And that's what really got me interested in the field, especially with my computer science background and applied math background. I had a lot of interest um, in data science because of the mathematical theory that I learned behind a lot of things. I had a uh, mathematics of machine learning course that I took that I got to learn a lot about like the mathematical theory behind machine learning, but I didn't really get to learn the applications of it. So that's really what got me interested in applying for a data science master's specifically. Um, I learned about spatial data science through a couple friends who were doing the progressive degree program, which is essentially a program where you can work towards your bachelor's as well as your master's degree. So you can essentially get your master's degree in one year. But because I was a transfer student, I couldn't really do the progressive degree program because it just didn't work out with my course plan. And when I found out about it, it was kind of too late. But I got to meet a lot of advisors through that program and spoke with them about how best to construct my application. And I applied and got into the spatial data science program. And it's really cool because I get to both incorporate data science, but also apply it to like location-based problems. So right now I'm taking an intro to data science course and a intro to spatial thinking course. So I get to learn platforms like ArcGIS and work with a lot of like geospatial information, but also learn about applications of data science, which is really cool. Um, so I, when I last filmed with Crimson, I was a cognitive science major initially, but I had just uh, changed my major to an applied and computational mathematics major when I filmed with Crimson. And I was just starting out, I was taking courses like Calc 3 um, and starting the math journey essentially. Um, and after that, it really started to build up. I started taking courses like probability theory, mathematics and machine learning, numerical methods, and a lot of like uh, theory-based courses. But after that, it was really just smooth sailing because I got the hang of like the workload and what everything would be like at university. And it really prepared me for the masters that I'm doing now because currently I am only taking two classes, but the workload is pretty intensive. And I think the undergrad really, really prepared me for that. So with my master's program, I'm really interested in applying data science to educational technology. I mentioned in my video with Crimson three years ago that I really wanted to work in educational technology and I think that with the spatial data science masters that I'm doing right now I can really incorporate the spatial sciences portion with the data sciences portion in that I'm very interested in glo like globalizing education universalizing it and I think especially in developing countries edtech could really be applied to those areas and I feel like spatial data science would be very applicable towards that because of those reasons. So as far as advice for applying for a master's program, I would really say to get in touch with counselors and advisors, which is what I did. I really spoke to the advisor of the spatial data science program and asked him what they were looking for in an application. And he really gave me guidance as to what I should write in my essays and include in my application and what they were looking for. So I would really advise people to reach out to counselors, advisors, and ask them what they are looking for in their applications. I also think as far as like the personal statement goes, it really depends on what master's program you're applying for. Like some master's programs require a statement of purpose, others require personal statements. But I chose to write a personal statement for mine um, because that's what it required. And I focused a lot on like my life journey leading up to applying for the master's and how my background 
led me to that point and how it made me choose the career path that I choose to go on now. I think that that's really important because it really means staying true to yourself and being yourself in your essay. I think it's also good to incorporate the academic background, but also focus on like just the personal side of why you chose the career path you're on and the academic journey you want to go on. I would say the most rewarding experience from my undergrad was definitely graduating. Um, I'm the first person in my family to be going to college, so it was a really rewarding experience to have my family be there and get my bachelor's degree, but it was a challenging three years at USC. I would say that the courses were really fun and exciting, but it was definitely a challenging experience, and so it made graduating that much more rewarding coming out of it. And looking forward into my master's program, I think that although I've just started and it's been half of a semester, I think that I have the necessary resources to make it um, in my career path. And the career counselors at the USC Career Center are super helpful. And I think that USC is going to give me everything that I need to get to where I want to be in terms of career and just academic journey.